Um, I, I think that it's it's been really, really useful in some ways. I mean, you know, I shouldn't let, let's be realistic. You know, it's not it's not going to you know, change the outside world's view of the academy, um, and it's won me quite a lot of friends in the academy. But it's you know, it is. And I did a blog relatively recently, I think it was last year, about, it was called something like, you know, what do academics do in the summer vacation? You know, and it, it became really, really e- instantly apparent that there are still people out there who think that, that academics have four months holiday in the summer. Now, so actually to say, would you like to know what I have done between June and October? Right? And here we are. And... There were people who wrote, you know, in the comments very touchingly to say that was really helpful because they never knew that. And, you know, I guess, I suppose what I thought was that it was, it shows how bad the professoria is at getting its message across. You know, because the idea that there are, you know, intelligent, interested people, interested enough to turn to my blog, who actually have never thought or known that what I call the summer vacation, but isn't really a vacation, that they actually think that that is a holiday. Well, we haven't been kind of, you know, we haven't been very good at the PR thing. I and mean, I think the other thing that people have really liked about it, and again, um, th- this in some ways was more of a surprise to me, I guess, was that when I was writing, when I was writing SPQR, actually, I wasn't doing anything else in my life apart from writing SPQR. <laughs> and that made it quite difficult to blog, you know, because a blog does somehow, you know, imply a certain amount of immediacy, you know, that it's sparked off by something you're doing. If all you're doing is sitting at home writing, you know, you think, crumbs, what am I going to say? So all I could start to talk about was what it was like writing. You know, sort of, I, I remember one chapter, which, you know, I think, took two or three months over and it really drove me wild chapter four the middle republic and i started to kind of share with people what the problem was and you know to say look i've got these things i want to say but actually i think what i'm writing is kind of boring so i've gone back to the beginning and i've tried to you know start now using scipio in a different way and i thought all this was terribly kind of you know up your own ass stuff really but there wasn't anything else i was doing people readers loved it absolutely loved it because they said look nobody ever shares that with us you know so a a book comes out but you completely conceal those kind of you know nitty gritty bits of you know I know sometimes I say look I've just got to go away I'm going to get a hotel for the weekend because I cannot sit in the seat any longer and think about chapter four um it, it kind of brought people into the inside of the process of writing a book and so I think that that, in a way, has been, you know, a more longer-term surprise that you can, you know, you can share details of the practicality, whether it's an academic life, um, or whether it's, you know, what it's like writing a book. That the that, that a actually does inform people, but it's also people enjoy. They actually want to know what you do. You know, and I think, you know, so it's it's been kind of. That that was unexpected. It was an eye opener, you know, and I hope it's useful. Does it help you work through chapter four better or worse? I fear it made no difference whatsoever <laughs> to how chapter four went. Um, it, you know, it might have been nice to get it off my chest, but I think it made no practical difference at all. <laughs> Except though, I got a lot of support. You know, that's quite nice, but I'm afraid no. 